you guys, I was just thinking about how I might be the only person in the Orthodox Church that talks to the icons. We're supposed to pay reverence to the icons, kiss them, and cross ourselves and bow down to them, which many people find problematic and heretical. They think it's like blasphemous to do that because it's supposedly breaking the second commandment. But we don't worship pictures depicting Christ or depicting the saints or anything. We don't worship them. It's it's more it's more of a guide. It's more of like a helping hand, you know. I mean, I immediately warmed up to that, so. Obviously, orthodoxy is right up my alley. And it's a strike every time. But, yeah. You know, if all of the biblical figures from both the Old Testament and the New Testament went to a therapist or a psychiatrist, they would all be diagnosed with schizophrenia. Like every single one of them. All the prophets, all the apostles, Jesus Christ himself. Can you imagine if the Virgin Mary went to her therapist and she said that she had a dream where an angel was telling her that she was gonna give birth to God. I guarantee you she would have been put into a mental institution, okay? And none of us would receive salvation. Last night I was reading about people that supposedly have schizophrenia because they've been diagnosed with it. They couldn't just figure this out on their own. They had they had to get a specialist um, involved. But, yeah, so they talk about how if God speaks to you that you're schizo. I don't think that they understand things, though. I don't think that they understand that I mean... I realize that I'm a pretty high functioning schizo person, you know, by comparison to a lot of homeless people that are wandering the streets and babbling to themselves and reek of booze and all that. But that has a lot to do with their environment. That has a lot to do with the fact that people in Western civilization don't know how to deal with any problem whatsoever. And so, I feel like it's a natural response, you know, to just assume that, you know, if somebody is like talking to themselves a lot and they look disheveled or they, they look unkempt or whatever, it's, it's natural to just assume that that person's crazy, you know? Just like, if you're living in a society like that and you're experiencing things on a level that is way more intense than those that you live amongst, you know, it's natural to assume that there's something wrong with you or that you need to be checked out and you need help and all that. But I think that there are people, you know, such as myself, obviously, that, you know, we might have sought help from those clinicians and the clipboard people, 
we sought help, but it didn't help. And we did some more research. We assessed the situation and we realized that all those motherfuckers were lying sacks of shit, okay? Um, and we're very lucky to have realized that. But a lot of people are not that lucky. And they think that they have to do a lot of stuff that doesn't make any sense. And they're not better off for it, either. Um, it'd be one thing if, like, people took medication and were doing positive things, but they're not. Like, I, I mean, it seems like the only people that I've spoken to that have benefited from medication at all, they're all on a really, really, really low dose of something. Whether it's like an antidepressant or anti-anxiety medication. And a lot of them do other stuff, you know? Like they go to church or maybe they do other drugs that are way more fun. Um, but it seems like a lot of Americans are just on pills and they haven't really looked into any other options, you know? So, I can understand if you've, like, exhausted all of your other efforts, you know, to feel better, to do something that helps you. But, you know, most people are lazy and they don't want to work for what they say they want. I don't think that they actually want happiness because if they did, they read the Bible, you know? But <laughs> I understand the fact that I'd definitely be called like a spiritual schizo or a Christian schizo or But notice that, like, I've not once compared myself to Jesus. It's other people doing that. Uh, maybe I, I shouldn't call myself a prophet. But I know that I've predicted the future since the late 80s. Um, begrudgingly, you know. I mean, why would anybody, like, happily predict the future? Because the future's never good, you know? So, it's just so easy. It's just so easy for people that are threatened by the gifts that God has given us. It's so easy for them to just say, oh, you're crazy. Or, you don't know what you're talking about. Or you're heretical. You know, like the Jews didn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah because Jesus was pointing out all the ways that they were total hypocrites and not practicing what they preached. I point out people's hypocrisy all the time. I'll point out my own hypocrisy, but I'm not going to be a hypocrite ways I can avoid because that's just, that's just terrible. Like, there's nothing worse to me than being a hypocrite. And so if I'm a hypocrite in any kind of way, like, I'm so quick to call myself out on it and attempt to get myself out of that situation so that I'm, I'm not a liar, you know? Because to be a hypocrite is to be a liar. You're just, like, a low-grade liar. And you can rationalize it with, well, everybody else does this. You know? But, I don't know. My religion means a lot to me. Which is why I don't come down on other people for whatever they believe. Or don't believe, you know? Because you're not going to convince people by being an asshole. You're not going to convince people to start believing in God. Or to go to church. Or to stop being gay. You're not going to convince them of that by, like being mean and ugly all you're doing is giving a bad name to Christianity now that also doesn't mean you know, putting up with people's shit either 
you know, like, the whole this cheek, that cheek. That, that doesn't mean be a doormat. But I feel like a lot of people just misinterpret things. And maybe they do that subconsciously so that they can play the victim later. I don't know. But... I forgot what my original point was. You were talking about icons. Um, people don't understand the purpose. Oh, they don't understand the purpose of a lot of things. But, you know, the orthodoxy makes so much sense to me because it just seems like, uh, bigger picture Christianity, you know? like I, I know I've made this comparison before but it's like it's like a a five-star all-you-can-eat buffet versus a little thing of handy snacks or a little packet of gushers you know and so that's crazy that people would choose the packet of gushers over like filet mignon bottomless shrimp okay I really shouldn't compare like the Holy Trinity to bottomless shrimp, but um, <laughs> especially considering the fact that shellfish is like pretty low tier. That's why Jews are like so good, they can't eat it. just have no idea what they're missing out on you know coconut coconut shrimp oh my goodness that's the best one or shrimp scampi y'all I have a confession I had to throw away this whole package of shrimp last night because I put it in my fridge I didn't freeze it I put it in my fridge and then I got all paranoid because I thought I was gonna get sick because I, I think I ate two shrimps and they didn't taste right. So I said a prayer. I said, God, this is going to be a really painful 48 hours if you don't apply this prayer. So please help me out. And I didn't get food poisoning. But it really disheartened me, though, to throw this away. Because it was like $6. Like, you don't want to waste money right now on food like you don't want to waste money you definitely don't want to waste food but I'm stupid so well, I shouldn't say stupid I should just say like negligent you know like there's just information that I neglect to apply you know like keep frozen until use once thawed eat immediately tell myself that I'm not going to waste things anymore. Like every time that I have to throw away fruit, spinach, fish, even like dried goods, you know, they get bad after a while. Like even if you've never opened the package, like they're going to get stale. But you know, I get impulsive and just like buy stuff on a whim and then don't eat it. And it's dumb because like I hardly even eat. So like, what's the point? I 
will say, with the fasting of the Orthodox Church, it's been so great. That's probably my favorite aspect of it, actually, because it has enabled me to change my eating habits the way that I wanted to anyway. Because I said that, you know, I wanted to go vegan. And I'm not vegan, but it's like, it's taught me to appreciate meat, but it's also like made fruits and vegetables like so good. Like I, I eat so many fruits and vegetables now. I used to hate vegetables with passion. And now like I eat a cucumber like every day. I had to throw away a cucumber today because it was moldy. You know, cause I've just been buying overzealous amount of them. So. Look. So cucumber, that is both red grapefruit and white grapefruit. That's more white grapefruit. There's a clementine, there's a lemon, and there's pomegranate seeds, and there's really cold coffee and a Grateful Dead mug. All right. I'm showcasing you my. healthy, my healthy eating choices. I don't know, I've worked in restaurants for too long to just continue to eat that crap. Like, I, it doesn't taste the same anymore. Cause sometimes I'll crave it, and then like I'll eat it, and it'll be so gross. You know? Just like, days that I fast, like I want to eat dairy and then when I don't have to fast I don't even want dairy you know and if I have ice cream or cheese or whatever it's like I just feel like shit so and I don't think it's just because I'm making my body intolerant to it I think that I'm growing intolerant because I don't want to eat that crap <laughs> you know I do love cheese though. I still love cheese. I will always love cheese. It does not matter. I can become a vegan and I will still love cheese and miss cheese and long for cheese. Okay. Speaking of cheese, like I have pepper jack cheese in the fridge right now and I can't eat it till tomorrow. I mean, I guess I could if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to because I love God more than I love pepper jack cheese. But anyway, um. <laughs> I need to get gas. I'll be right back. <laughs>